I'm delighted to welcome you to the Stade Op de Grenz, home of Jeunesse. Vinicio Monicelli is sporting director of Jeunesse, the premier football club in the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. Based in the former mining town of Esch, right on the French border, it's a team full of internationals. Here are our physiotherapists together with the masseurs. Our players are getting ready. They've been league champions on 28 occasions, easily a record. And this year, as usual, they're right in the hunt. This is what counts. This is the slogan to inspire us today. Let's go, Jeunesse. A look at the Jeunesse trophy room may not show much overseas silverware, but the club has been a regular European participant, and a lack of success is made up for by a wealth of memories. Sebastian Grandjean is coach. It's very interesting here because of this rich history. You can see it on the walls next to the dressing rooms. It's everywhere, no matter where you go. Plus, the people here still talk about the old games against Real Madrid, Bayern and Liverpool. All this puts the players in a position where they have to perform. They know that when they play for this club, they have to respect that history and give all they have to offer. This means that I and the rest of the staff have high expectations of the players. Of course, Luxembourg, a nation of a quarter of a million wedged between Belgium, France and Germany, is far too small for a fully professional league. But its 14-team top flight does make heavy demands on the players, even though most of their money may be earned elsewhere. My players get up early in the morning, go to work or school, and we can only practice in the evening. My players have very long days. It's very hard to go from 7 in the morning till 9 in the evening. It's way more difficult for an amateur or a semi-pro player than for a professional because of the length of the days. Professional players have an easy life. They're constantly taken care of and everything is good. This makes it very easy. To practice and play at our level is very difficult, much more difficult than the professional level. The visitors today are Diffidange, another club near the top of the table, and over 1,300 fans are on hand. However, Jeunesse are probably the only club in Luxembourg to regularly draw a four-figure attendance. That's because there are some pretty big distractions not too far over the border. Luxembourgers prefer to go to Kaiserslautern or Dortmund in order to watch a Bundesliga game, rather than stay here and watch Luxembourgish clubs play. It's something we can't change. Luxembourg's economic situation isn't bad, so people just have too many chances to go abroad and see what they regard as more interesting games. Because of this, it's difficult to attract more spectators and, therefore, the necessary financial resources. As well as being full of local international talent, Jeunesse also draws on its own youth system. Development of young players is important in the Grand Duchy, and the national team has improved markedly over the last few years, with notable wins over Belarus and Slovakia. Care is being taken that youngsters across the country receive enough attention to do themselves justice on the international stage. In summer, the best young players often practice once or twice a day. The physical capabilities of these players have improved a lot over the past few years. This is important in order to compete properly against other national teams. It's necessary to be physically strong in order to avoid getting slaughtered on the field. It's true that it's now been a long time since we received a hammering. In the past, that was often the case. But our goal now is not to embarrass ourselves in international matches. Our opponents are starting to respect us because we've had some positive results recently. This wasn't Jeunesse's day, and their first defeat in 14 games effectively handed the title to F91 of Dudelange. However, Jeunesse will be back in Europe come the summer, once again flying the flag of their small but enthusiastic football nation. In club terms, I want Jeunesse to always feature right at the top of the table. 
We've collected many trophies through our history and we want to continue the success by winning as many more as we can. We also try to play football in an attractive way. In the past, that perhaps wasn't always the case here in Esch, but since we have many fans, we want to entertain them by playing attractive football. We want our football to combine both beauty and success.